25% of the Gospels are about Jesus healing people. He calls his disciples, he calls the 72, he calls the church. And now he's calling you. Yeah, I had no, no grid really for healing or um, the power of the Holy Spirit through me until at 18 I had an amazing encounter with Jesus and just started reading the Bible in a new light and started to realise what God was saying, what Jesus was saying in the scripture was true for me, it was reality. So um, yeah, I was hooked on hearing that I could go out and heal and so I started reading books too and hearing just amazing stories of other people too, just seeing blind eyes open and the lame walk, walking and um, just amazing things. Um, but I felt God clearly say to me one day as I sat reading, he said, if you wanna see miracles, you have to go out and get them. You can't just sit um, waiting for a miracle encounter to come to you, you have to go out and see it. And so that triggered something in me. I started going out into the streets and praying for he people for healing and saw amazing things happen. One of my favorite testimonies from recently was um, a few months back, um, I got to pray for a guy I met on a flight. Um, I prayed for him near e-passport, check out or whatever it's called. Um, he told me he couldn't smell. I just got to lay my hands on his nose. Um, and I was terrified, I was freaked out. It wasn't, it wasn't, na it didn't feel, um, it didn't feel completely comfortable, but I knew in obedience God had asked me to do it and um, prayed for his nose to open in the name of Jesus. And he smelt um, for the first time in 20 years. Um, I shared that testimony. <laughs> I shared that testimony a few weeks later at church. A guy um, I got to pray with after um, he came up and said also he hadn't been able to smell. Um, pray for him for healing with another person there. And he also, his nose was completely opened. His smell was restored, hallelujah. So. God heals. In Exodus 15 it says, I am the Lord who heals you, I'm the God who heals you. Um, and it's in God's character to heal, he loves to heal. That was the Old Testament and then we moved to the New Testament and we see Jesus just going around and healing. He healed every single person who was brought to him. Um, and the amazing thing is, we know that Jesus is a reflection of the Father. It says in Colossians 1.15, he is the image of the invisible God. So if God was sending sickness and Jesus was healing it, it wouldn't make sense, it would be a divided kingdom. So we get the perfect, perfect picture of the Father and how his heart is to heal through his son Jesus. And because it's his heart, it's our heart too, it should become our heart too. He says, Matthew 10, 8, heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the leper and drive out demons. The reality too is that some are not healed, not everybody is healed. I've prayed for many people and some have been healed and some have not been healed. Um, and I know that many of you would have lost loved ones due to sickness. Um, Paul says we are longing and we're waiting eagerly for the redemption of our bodies. We're longing for our bodies to be, be made whole and all of history is moving towards that climax when Jesus comes again and he comes in power and he restores our, our bodies and we get to be with him in eternity. The kingdom is here in part right now, but it's not fully established here, it's not fully here. And because of that, we know that not everybody is healed, but we get to see glimpses of healing. It's like heaven coming to earth and a glimpse is a foretaste of what's to come. As it says in the Bible that Satan comes to kill, steal and destroy. Um, yet Jesus comes to bring life and life in abundance. Um, God wants good things for us. And the devil is, it says that he's a, um, a, a lion looking to devour his prey. But Jesus is... Um, his heart is healing. Okay then, Megan Landers-Smith, so how do we see more healings? Tell me. My favorite quote um, by um, Chris Gore, he says, it's not meant to be hard, it's meant to be impossible. And I think that when we function in that realm of things are hard, that's when we make it about us, that's when we strive, that's when we, when we um, put the pressure on ourselves and we don't see somebody healed. But actually when we move into that realm of impossibility, we realize, this is crazy, like, Preach. like it's him just working through me, which is phenomenal. There's no formula for effectiveness. Um, it's just Jesus through you and in, and in you. Um, Jesus never actually prayed for anyone. He didn't, come, he didn't tell us to pray for anyone. He just said, heal the sick. He's more looking for your heart and a yes from you than he is from a result. So um, you are a student learning from the Father and just... We're just reflecting his kingdom and doing what he says to do. Um, so go out and do it. I challenge you, if you've never prayed for healing for someone, do it. 
um, read stories, read the stories in the Bible about how just Jesus is the most inspiring person to read and, and he's our hero, he's our role model. So just go out there, heal the sick. This is what we've been called to do. This is who we are. This is normal to us. Um, so yeah. I believe in you. Go and do it. Right now you can see two videos popping up either side of me. Go check them out. They're amazing.